friends, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a shaker and spoon, my favorite cocktail box. Okay, so this month is a rum themed box. I could not actually get a hold of any of the rums that they had suggested. So I just did like a, you know, show me your best rums, total wine and more. And this one was the most highly rated and only like $30 or something. And look how pretty this bottle is. So I have no idea if this is gonna go with the drinks, but you know, whatever. Okay, we have some fun things in here too. Some sugar cane, coconut water, coconut milk, some interesting elixirs over here, and some limes, a thing of nutmeg. I'm very excited about this box. Should be interesting. I had to bust out my blender, which I wasn't all that thrilled about, but you know, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this one. Goes in a coupe glass, de kachimba? No idea. Shake your hips through the colorful kinetic Miami nightlife scene and join up with Stephen Miner, who's using the Florida Keys to open a portal to the wild, biodiverse wonders of the surrounding Caribbean islands. It's time to get on your feet with the bright and tropical tandem of blood orange and guava and feel the soft smoke and heat of Chipotle. That sounds good. With flavor sensations of sweet, tart, savory, and spice, each taking their turn and anchored by the robust richness of aged rum. Is this one aged? This is an amped up daiquiri with a name that says it all in Nicaraguan slang, dope as F, eh? We'll leave it there, okay? <laughs> okay, so this one seems to be pretty straightforward. Add all of the ingredients to a shaker, shake, pour. And then float with a dehydrated lime. Oh, if you have one on hand. Who has those on hand? Maybe I could just do a wheel of lime. That smells very fruity and tropical. It smells exactly like it ought to in a bottle like this. Aged for no less than two years. Okay, we're golden. All right, two ounces. Oh, you know what I'm missing is my bar top. Oh well. One ounce of this. Five drops, not dashes of the Chipotle cocktail. Not dashes this time. Usually they do dashes. So one, two, three, four, five drops. Half ounce of the citric saline solution. Is this just like salt water? I wonder. Yeah, yeah, that's very salty. Oh my gosh, that's weird. Okay. And one ounce of coconut water. Okay, let's give this a shake. And then it does say to double strain into the glass. Oh, maybe from the guava juice, like a little bit of pulp. Fresh lime wheel, not a dehydrated one. No, that didn't float. Okay, there we go, perfect. Let's give it a go, shall we? Okay. I don't know if it's just because it's my first drink of the day or if that's just like awful. <laughs> it's not, uh, it's, you know what it is? It's really salty. It's not that smoky or spicy or anything. Mostly I'm getting saltiness. Like that was way too much of this saline stuff. It's also very tart. All right, let's try the next one. It, you know, and we'll come back to this after a minute, after I've, you know, had a couple more drinks. <laughs> well, you know, they're not always going to be my favorite. That's okay. Okay, let's try this one, which you just make in your glass, I believe. One, two ounces of rum, half ounce of tamarindo syrup. I actually do love tamarind flavored stuff. I know that's one of those, you either love it or hate it kind of things, and a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. Tamarindo. For this one, two dashes, not drops of uh, the Angostura bitters. Pinch of sea salt, more salty drinks. What's with all the saltiness? I'm just gonna do like a really tiny pinch. Boop. Okay, and then you use a sugar cane stick to stir it. And then you can chew on the sugar cane stick if you want to, you leave it in the glass. So these are very fibrous. You don't wanna eat the whole thing, but you can kind of chew on it and suck on it to get all the sweet sugar cane out. If you've never had sugar cane before, it says you can trim that, but I don't feel like it. Okay, cheers. That's good. I like that. 
I like that a lot. You know, they always give you one that's in a rocks class that's more like a, um, what do you, like a Manhattan? I don't know, what is that type of drink where it's just like, you know, with the one ice cube and it's mostly alcohol with a little bit of syrup in it to make it sweet and some bitters. Um, I forgot to read the description of this drink. So this one is Kiss of the Oceans. Chicha is a staple drink throughout Panama. Though it can be fermented, it's usually enjoyed as a simple cooling combination of fruit, water, and sugar with a popularity that it's no mystery, owing to the abundance of amazing produce grown in the country. One shining gem of this juice scene is tamarind, and as Brianne Rupp sees it, the fruit's sour, sweet, caramelized taste is a perfect partner for rum. The result of her spirit forward spin on this drink is no less refreshing, so get to stirring up those sunny street vendor vibes with a stick of sugar cane. Yeah, I like this. You know, it is mostly rum with a little bit of syrup, but the tamarind isn't overpowering and it's not, a lot of times with these ones, they usually taste a little too syrupy and kind of thick and sticky. And I'm not getting that as much with this one. It's not very sweet. You do get some saltiness though. <laughs> I don't know what's with these salty drinks. Okay, let's try the blended one. Avocado colada. Grab your bottle and blender because you are crossing the Pacific to a country that you might be surprised to learn is home to the best selling rum in the world. With volcanic soil, a tropical climate, and a host of pure spring waters, the Philippines checks all the boxes for booming rum production. And now it's got an icy colada of its very own, thanks to Mary Palak. And it's a lot greener than piña. Matcha and avocado join the frothy fun with coconut and rum for a more seasonal, earthy version of a beachside beloved. All right, so it wants you to use one cup of ice. I'm actually gonna put the ice in first just so that I can measure it. This one calls for one and a half ounces of rum, one ounce of rich matcha syrup. Oof. That looks syrupy and green. Half ounce of lime juice. And they told me, I actually read ahead, so I put this in some warm water, just put the whole can in some warm water for like 10, 15 minutes, and then shake it up so that it gets all mixed up, because otherwise you get like that cream layer at the top. Three ounces of this. One, two, three, and then two teaspoons avocado powder. Okay, I don't have a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna use a bar spoon. I hope that that's more or less. Yeah, it looks like a teaspoon. Get my blender lid on there. Let's blend this thing. Pour it into our Collins glass. Oh, that's very runny. I either did not use enough ice or my ice melted while I was trying to figure out the blender. I feel like this one needs an umbrella or something. Let's give it a lime wheel. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like that. I do like that a lot more than I thought I would. It's not overly sweet, but you definitely get those matcha flavors and I guess that's avocado that I'm tasting. All right, let's see, let's see if I like this one any better now that I've had a couple other drinks. Nope. No, it's too salty, it's so salty. Oh my gosh, why is it so salty? Ah. Let's get Colin in here, see what he thinks. What do you got? Okay, so this one is some sort of um, pina colada, but not really. This one is salty death. And this one is a sugar cane tamarind drink. Mm. I'm selling them, aren't I? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, not by any means. All right, so uh, this one looks like um, blended mochi. So let's yeah. try that one first. <laughs> smells like rum, obviously. Rum smoothie. Yeah. It's good. It's acceptable. Right? Yeah, 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 it's not bad. I don't think I would steal it from someone, but <laughs> that's okay. Sorry, what was this one? Salty death. Salty death. Mm. Exciting. I don't know the actual name of it, I forget. Salty death? Good God, why? <laughs> You put that much salt in something. I think, you know, I might even try to remake that one and use... Less um, salt? Like a quarter of the amount of salt. Because it's this lime saline solution. Gotta get that in some IVs. Tired of regular saline? Try lime saline. That one's not bad. But of course, I like tamarind.
Is this your favorite box? <laughs> Damn it. This one wasn't bad. Drink that one again. It'll make you feel better about it, about life in general. Eventually, yes. <laughs> it's still a smoothie. Yeah. It's the best out of the three. It's still weird to have a blended mochi smoothie. And the one that actually you can tell was made with rum. Because oh, these the other, other ones, ones like rum? you could put Everclear in there. I don't think I would have noticed the difference. <laughs> All right. But all this right. one is an actual rum drink that tastes like if I was at a rum bar. What would you expect? It, that's like a rum daiquiri. You it's know, a rum you daiquiri. Think of that, this is, this yeah. one's fine. I, I, I wouldn't mind, like, I would be okay handing that to someone else. The, the other two, I would hand them and then run. Like that one. Okay, I'm, I'm literally going to remake this one and see if I can make it drinkable. Fine. With, like, a dash of this instead what of the hell, man? whatever because good god because it's made with this like guava juice which is good i love guava juice and i forget the other ingredients not salt all right you fix that when you let me know they do have a note on there by the way that for the tamarind one you can just put it like in a collins glass with ice and then top it with club soda to make it more of a spritzer so if you don't like the intense flavors you can lighten it up a little bit that way which i think is usually a pretty good option for most drinks like that two ounces of rum whoa splashy rum one ounce of the blood orange guava juice one ounce of coconut water should i even bother putting this i'm gonna put just like a tiny itty bitty oh so little just a wee little drop of that's it, that's enough. I don't even think it needs this. I should just like give it a squeeze of lime or something. Five drops of Chipotle cocktail spice. Oh, this does actually smell pretty smoky. I'm just gonna throw the whole thing in there. I'm doctoring my recipes now. You know, making it to taste. Oh, I forgot to put the nutmeg on my smoothie. Damn it, Becca. Shake, 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 shake. Double strain into the glass. Okay, try number two. better. I really feel like I should just omit this completely and just do like a squeeze of lime. In fact, I still have some lime juice, right? Let's give it a little bit of lime. I don't know how much that was. Let's give it some more chipotle stuff too because I like this. This is like smoky, a little spicy. Whoop. I would drink that. So see, just goes to show you, if you find a drink in one of your boxes that you're like, nope, don't like that. Sometimes it's the whole thing. Sometimes it's just one ingredient that you can omit or lessen, add more of a different ingredient that you do like, that sort of a thing, because drinks are all about your own taste, you know, just like with food. So sometimes it's gonna take a little practice, a little, a little finagling, but I think that, you know, this is, this is actually pretty good, I like this. Okay, Colin. The new one, <laughs> with slightly less salt. So I can taste things that aren't salt now. Okay, good, good. Which is good. Uh-huh. Um, Assuming you like the things that aren't salt. <laughs> dude, I think people with COVID could have tasted that last one, man. That was <laughs> strong AF. Um, it's certainly better. I can actually taste the rum now. It's just, mm -hmm. it's a tiny, tiny baby hint of rum. Mainly what I'm tasting is the um, uh, the orange guava. Mm -hmm. Is So it's a nice, refreshing, light orange guava. I would almost maybe add a little bit more rum to it so you could actually taste the rum. Okay. Um, but besides that, yeah, it's a, it's a much better drink. You'd have to taste the words salt and death out of it, but... <laughs> it's, not, it's actually called, what is it called? Can you pronounce that? I don't know where I'm looking. Dika Chimba? Yeah. Dia Kashimba. Okay, that's how he says it. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. All right, I'm out. Okay, thank you. Let's try adding a little nutmeg to this one. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, it looks pretty, but I don't know that it makes any difference. No, I like the nutmeg. Oh yeah. That is good. Now it tastes like a winter cocktail. 
Wow, it's amazing that Nutmeg can do that. Turns anything into a holiday beverage. Okay, well I will leave all of the information in the description box. If you guys have not yet gotten yourself a shaker and spoon, I freaking love these boxes. They are so much fun. I do have a referral link that I will put down there. Also, this makes a really excellent gift. I've given this as a gift to people before, or it's just fun for yourself. And you get to make craft cocktails at home, which I think is fun, you know? And then you can play with the ingredients even if you don't like all of the drinks. There's something that you are bound to have fun with and enjoy. Plus it's just fun to taste new things. And one of my favorite things about Shaker and Spoon is that they tell you what the box is before you agree to get the box. So if you are not a rum fan, you might wanna skip this one. Or if you look at the drinks and you're like, nope, I'm not drinking any of that, you can just be like, no, maybe not this month, but maybe next month, you know? And I love that they have that option for you, that they show you what it is before you commit to it. Anyway, all of the information will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!